are going to see part two of the framing process. So if you're new here, Hubby and I are building our dream home and we're super duper excited. They have finished framing from our perspective. It looks finished. I'm not sure if there's more to do, but it looks finished um, from our point of view. Um, and if you would like to see more home building videos, home decor on a budget, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're Odie Baditi, welcome back guys. So we just hit 500 and I'm super duper excited. Um, um, thank you guys for all your love and support. Please continue commenting, sharing, and liking those videos. Um, and we're going to continue making videos. So in today's video, like I said, you guys will be seeing them complete the framing of our home. So the last time you see them, they did the basement and I guess most of the first floor. And so now it's the second floor. Um, we did find a mistake, unfortunately, um, and so they have to fix it. The mistake isn't that big, it's not that serious, but Eric is not happy about it. So we have already emailed the appropriate parties to let them know um, what we found. And the customer care specialist said that she will get back to us when she speaks to our builder. So if you wanna see all things framing and more mistakes, go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty guys, welcome back. The house is looking really, really good. They had the roofing on. They're fin finishing up the framing on the garage. Um, they also have the roof right there to the porch. It's exciting. I might slide that Bible in there soon. <laughs> um, we didn't get a full porch because I like how the sun hits the office. I'll be probably filming and stuff in there. So, um, I really wanted, I didn't want the awning to block any potential sunlight, basically. So, see how the sun's hitting the house right now? Like, I'm gonna get all that good natural light, which I love. Um, let me look, let me scoot over some, let me see. So they have this right here holding it up right now. And it's looking really, really good and bright. Okay, let's go on this side. A lot of debris so I gotta pay attention sorry if my angle is off okay so I finished up a lot of ooh, 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 be careful talking let me be quiet let me focus on getting down the hill okay so I don't know if you guys remember babe come over here um if you guys remember in one of our last videos or not last but like a while ago we had those problems these two windows were the problem windows. So they were trying to scooch, the, they were trying to remove this window or scooch it down. We were gonna get one big custom window and it would've just looked weird. And it actually was just a mistake on their part. I guess the engineer just, he was confused for some reason. So the windows are where they're supposed to be. It is kind of close to the roof line, which they were trying to say, but I mean, it's safe because it passed whatever blueprint inspection they did. Um, I really should have removed this window because I wanted this wall to be an accent wall in Chunk's playroom, but it's cool. It's cool. Um, something else that's new. Let me zoom out some more. Right here, then putting a cap on top of the fireplace. For some reason, I thought it was going to go all the way up to the ceiling, I guess, to let, release the heat or whatever, but that was wrong about that. Um, these two windows right here were custom windows. Uh, we wanted it to look like really symmetrical from the back. So you see how there's a window here, window here, fireplace, window here, window here. I just wanted to have symmetry. So I really like how we got these two custom windows. And that was something that our realtor recommended. Okay. Um, now this is a mistake right here that we just found. There should be no windows right here because we wanted that closed up so that we can put a fire electric fire, fireplace in our sitting room. So Eric's not happy about that. <laughs> so we have to get them to fix that really quickly before they, you know, put windows in. And then look at our deck. It is coming along. It's a small deck, but I'm loving like, imagine me sitting up here. Like look at the view I'll have. Like, I'll have this view and I think the sun sets over here. So in the mornings I can just come and have some coffee, relax, read my Bible, 
you know, just jam out <laughs> and relax, okay? Um, my neighbor's porch is over there, so it's not too close. And this will be a window. That'll be, this will be a window, so you won't be able to see us from their porch. So we still have that privacy. The same with here, like their porch will be way lower. So we'll still have some privacy. Um, let's see what else. Let's go on this side. Now, this is one thing you guys should really pay attention to when building your, ho your home. I don't know what this window is for, actually. I have no idea. Where's my finger going? <laughs> right here. I don't know what that window is to. It might be a small window in the bath. Oh, in the, maybe in the bathroom, like um, with a, a toilet is. So maybe that's that. I don't know. Okay, so now, this is something I didn't think about until... I started looking at other homes. I started like paying attention to other homes and other communities actually because some of the houses are so close together. They'll have windows here and then windows right here. You can see inside the house beside you. I didn't like that. And so I'm thankful that our neighbors actually have a one level with a basement. So it's not blocking the sun. That's one. So we'll still get sunlight in these windows in the morning because our bed will go right there but also we won't be looking directly into our neighbor's house like i didn't like that so i'm happy that the two windows still get the sunlight and also still get um some privacy so if you're building a home like really pay attention to where your bedroom is and what lot you're choosing because that can affect privacy okay um so yeah i'm excited it looks good it's coming together I'm about to talk to Mr. Marsh now because he is not happy about that window. I was like, babe, you can just let it be. Like, whatever. He's like, nope. <laughs> I'm not letting it be. I want it fixed because I want my fireplace. So, that's all for today, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Alright, guys. It's Friday. And they're all done. The framing, I guess. The house looks good. I really came today to look at the back to see if they fixed that window situation in our master. Now, um, what I will say is I emailed, Eric and I emailed the people, not the people, the customer care specialist and the sales team and our realtor, and we let them know what we noticed. And the customer care specialist got back to us and she said that she'll let our builder know and then he'll take a look at it. Now, I know most people are able to talk to their builder directly and it used to be like that, but they were getting very overwhelmed. And so they just have a customer care specialist to kind of like be in the middle to mediate um, situations. So I'm not gonna walk inside because Eric is here and he said, you don't have a hard hat on, so don't do that. So I'm not, but I just wanna show you guys this is the garage at the inside of the garage looks really really good and i'm thankful because our garage most garages aren't finished like it just has like the drywall up they just do like the insulation and stuff i think i believe and our builder actually does spray foam which i love so it won't be like the um fluffy cotton stuff i'm not gonna i was gonna walk on this but i'm not because i don't think this is fully secured yet so i'm gonna just stand right here where it's the safest and this is what the house is giving, if you guys can see a little bit. And look at that view we have. Okay, I am going to step up here. Look at that view we're going to have. Oh my God, that view right there is going to be so breathtaking when we're on our balcony. Can you imagine? It's like a little town over there or something. I don't know, but that view right there, oh my God. Okay, so we will get some good sunlight right there. So I guess in this window in the living room, we will directly see our neighbors. Not the best, but it's okay. But we do get good views right here from the morning room kitchen. That's going to be gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to step over here so you guys can see everything. It's the office right here, the kitchen back there. Um, yeah, it's definitely not safe because they have a lot of these pieces going diagonal to hold things up until they secure everything. Okay, so now let's go to the back. I'm gonna step down carefully. Ooh, see, Ooh, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, all right, so I do think 
I'm gonna ask Eric, I'll see if he said in the video. But we can just dig some hole, dig a hole right there, drop the Bible in, and then put the dirt back. What y'all think? Like, they would never know. Literally, never. Never know. Okay, let's walk around back now. I don't think they fixed the window that fast, but let's just go ahead and see what they've done so far. There's somebody out here. The thing is, we had to tell them quickly because they put the windows in very, um, they put the windows in like rather quickly. They started the wrapping part to the windows already. So they put the windows in rather quickly in the trimming stuff before they wrap the whole house. So we got to be fast oh yeah see they already put the wrap up there so they haven't fixed the window yet so gotta let eric know about that um yeah yep but that's that i wish i got i could show you guys the view we're gonna have like if i had my little tripod i could like reach up but the view i was showing you guys is right here so behind the house so like our neighbors on their balcony they're gonna have like a front row view depending on if the house beside them blocks it but wherever that house goes doesn't even, doesn't even matter because our view lines will be straight here and there's like a town or something up there but that it looks gorgeous up there i'm so excited for that okay alrighty. so i will see you guys next week thank you guys for tuning in and we'll let you know about that window when we find out something else all right bye that's all i need for you